<laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear it now. All right, I think it's losing a couple of frames, but I think we can handle it, maybe. Well... Holy shit, that fucking sound, oh! Well, let's see how it goes. Worst case scenario, uh, we cancel this. <laughs> but wait, no, let's go to the That's bistro. Fine. Can you read the area data? Experience the city's premier bistro, La Las de Geisha. Mm. Featuring the big bonsai, nature's favorite form of bondage. Wow. So up your own barbecue, Asian style. Enjoy some tempura, always a hit with the ladies. Or try oiling up your very own rusty geisha girl. What is that supposed to mean? Make the challenge? Yes. Alright. So, what do you know about this game, man? Uh, I've done an entire fucking playthrough, actually. I know quite a lot. And I know that, uh... Running is a thing. Oh. Why did you let him live, Damn. A kid. Let's see how it goes, gameplay-wise. He's not liking it. <laughs> if anyone wanted to know how Dolphin used to run. No, is it, is it really bad for you? I mean, it's playable, but you know, just quality-wise. Oh, because like the sound is like super choppy. Yep, choppy. <laughs> Hmm. Hold on, allow me to. Maybe he just doesn't like, you know. Wow. <laughs> Jack stopped killing, now he's chilling. I guess Jack's taking a little break from breaking heads. <laughs> mm -hmm, it's good now. Yeah, but I reduced the window size to little. Listen, it's just you need would you would need default setting. Oh, my word! Sure, look like something. All right. You know what, man? It's a shame, but I think we might have to uh, <laughs> cancel this. I don't know. It seems running fine. Yeah, well, that's 640 by 480. That's not a big deal. But the quality, though. Who cares? I don't. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can just run a level like this. Let's see. So, what did you. I like how when you talk, it, it uh, lowers the volume for the, of the game for me. Oh. Cool. Because I mean, the problem you you have right now is that you're just running it through an emulator. Or... Damn, nice to know. It's suddenly turning to yes. <laughs> you know what, man? I hate to say this, but we might have to cancel this. It's fucking it's kind of terrible. Yeah, but well, don't worry. I'm sure I can finish early and we can play Minecraft. So welcome back to Mad World. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it at the beginning, but we had a incident. Well, not an incident. I, I tried to see if I could comment it with, with this with my friend Sparky, but uh, Discord and Dolphin, they weren't getting along. The only kind of playable state was the original resolution, and boy, it looks uh, looks awful. <laughs> I mean, funny thing, I could grab my Wii U, play Madware from there, connect the capture card, then stream it that to Discord and, you know, no problem with slowdown, but shit, I don't have that set up. And besides, I want, this, I want this to be an HD playthrough. At any rate, the Bistro, experience the series premiere Bistro, La Lusty Geisha, really, featuring the big bonsai, nature's favorite form of bondage, 
serve up your own barbecue Asian style, enjoy some tempura, always heat with the ladies, or try oiling up your very own rusty geisha girl. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but let's take on the challenge. Just one more time, double check this, alright. Uh -huh, this thing seems to be recording. Let's go. Why did you let him live, Jack? As those scumbags noted, a dead civilian isn't worth many points, but a live one is worth nothing. So you want me to kill that kid? I merely want to know why you did not kill him. Why? Do I need a reason not to kill someone? I'm in this game to kill other contestants, not go hunting after some half-dead civvy. <sighs> Maybe you don't understand, Jack. This is a business. As long as you have a contract with us, you are obligated to follow the rules. Rules? <laughs> is there any rule here but kill or be killed? Look, if wasting a few doctors is gonna up my pay, I'm happy to do it. But don't you think your audience would rather see me paint the sidewalks red with someone my own size? Of course, you are an artist, Jack. Go out and make us happy. Make your fans happy. I aim to please. Mr. Lustigisha, nice. Spear, Jack Balloon, Hanabi, and Shogun. Two million points. Uh, was there always us there? Whatever. Right down on all the important info Jack is going to need during this round. Howard, I think the most important thing he needs to know is how not to die. Fucking A, please. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a little Super Mario here. Boy, there's a huge difference with the resolution increase, like... Maybe I can put the comparison, plus a uh, laggy frame rate, <laughs> just to give you an idea how the often used to run. But boy, there's a huge difference in clarity. And it's funny because that's the only thing this game needs, really. Just a... Um, Resolution boost. I mean, maybe let's say if you did a remaster or whatever, maybe update the models a little, but the game itself looks pretty fine. Oh, damn it. So we're falling out looking a little we out of control without the roll. I used to know these lyrics like full, literally. Not anymore, it's been a while. Well, I guess you make an effort. Yeah, I'm not going to comment it a lot through this game, but you know what? That's fine. Maybe I can repurpose these videos into a full HD playthrough. Maybe. Yeah, that was kind of a lame combo. This guy is uh, disgusting. Really, that's all you can do with it. Oh, let's have some fun, boys. Oh, did you really do it for me, man? Come on. Man, I don't know. I mean, I'm not exactly the greatest commentator, but but I think but I think you see it's really good game. The fact that you're you don't even want to talk on top of it because you kind of want to pay attention to everything. And my victim, well, I think he just died because everything else is just on the floor. Dude, you are a fucking king geek. You know, Howard, they say the eyes are the windows of the soul. 
but I just call them the shortest rap for the brain. You're a regular shit in Wadsworth. <laughs> This game is a pretty good exercise. <laughs> Killing. Does it ever seem like there's a ninja under every fucking rug? That's why I have hardwood floors. There's a spear on over there. Nice. That's going spear fishing. And by fish, I mean victim. And what do you mean by spear? I mean spear, you idiot. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's get some all the classic memes here. Do you know Jack? Ninjas hit nothing more than pirates? Go on, try tossing that thing. Ah, yeah, I think. Hmm. Oh, what happened? Damn, he just lost those middle rings. I think I said at the beginning that I wanted to go comment this from my friend Sparky, but we had no avail, which is kind of a shame because, uh, you know, he played this game on his channel a long time ago. I love this song. Well, there he was. This kid, was here like, oh, what? I wonder if I can extract all the audio lines, that would be cool. Maybe make a compilation video. No, guess they, they still are alive, quote unquote. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, damn it. I was thinking we could do a finisher. Yeah. I think we're reaching the point where the commentators cannot repeat the lines, but they cannot say new things per area, so... Oh, thank you! Not sure, whatever. Just <laughs> watch for the bodies. I hope Jack can rescue those hookers! I have a date scheduled with a couple of them later at the local run and tug! <laughs> really? Anyway, what I'm, I'm thinking, aren't those uh, Geisha civilians or they are part of Death Watch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's cool as shit, though. Man, <laughs> completely ignore them. Going numb because of the old position that I'm playing this thing. Terrible. Come on, dude. I think. Yeah, you just you just put the freaking uh, target and it will always go for this guy. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's, what's happening? What's happening? So, that's it. I think I want to do a couple and show the Black Baron. Uh, lines. Where do you think they keep that thing? One of the mysteries of life. Ooh. Just on now because the low we're out of control without the road. Oh man, I just can't stop repeating whatever lyric I know. And all of a sudden, a spider drops 
I was thinking, can I use combo this? And I think I can. But there's only so much things you can actually put on enemies. Right? If you even can. Oh, come on. What a waste. <laughs> It's done. I mean, it's not like whoa, crazy combo, right? But yeah, whatever. You know what? Let's keep it simple. And I don't think I never had the pull. Huh? Hmm. That's what I'm not saying. Well, the bodies. Are they falling to the floor? <laughs> oh well. Damn it. Yeah, my crew will know. I think yeah, they are falling to the to the thing. Uh, did I do something to the settings? Maybe. I think I was actually changing them real time. The setting from the original has 640 by 480 back to uh, 720p. <laughs> well, there's a difference in resolution. <laughs> I mean, duh, right, but. What the fuck? Last time I played this, I completely ignored this guy. Just, just walk by. But does he give us something? Is he even worth killing? Get out of there, Ryder. Cycle, chainsaw slice, vertical cut, bike and nano trash. Ah, fuck you, Alicato. This guy. You know, head injury is the leading cause of death in motor cycle accidents. Yeah, I think Jack's about to beat that statistic. Jack chopped that ninja and the ninja's chopper. All right. We unlocked the Dead Watch Challenge uh, rather early. I mean, yeah. Your microphone no repeat. I'm going to repeat that over and over and wait it's over here. Let's do them already just to score more points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the kind of treat only the Bishop of Blood and Carnage, the Black Baron, stops him. To light up the night, all you got to do is toss a motherfucker into a tube. Then it's only a matter of time before that ass gets tapped and kabloom. Shit be flying. You think it's the 4th of July up in this motherfucker? God damn. Hey, come on, baby. No, you know I love you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, hell no. Here goes my coat. <laughs> Or does he come back? Maybe Black Baron Balloons. Round one! This should be fun! Alright. Nice. Oh. Damn it. The grab has pretty good range, kinda like Martin Melee. Ah, oh, come on. Sure. <laughs> uh, I need to do this fast. <laughs> this guy is. I love this game. I always, I said it before, and I see it again. There's never a bad time to play Mario World. Amazing first game, actually, for Platinum. I mean. Just think about it, your first game in the market, you're being a, 
What's it called? Uh, Foolish by Sega. And he's like, you made a fucking... Well, can... Kind of a niche game, but a really cool one. Oh, maybe. Nice. Maybe we can do that again. Nah, no. I mean, it's maybe a minor inconvenience, but it's better just to get get them all when you can. Come on. Come on, dude. Just let me kill you. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Six. Oh boy. Let's start throwing. I think I need to comment more on what I'm doing, even if it's kinda silly and obvious, but I think that helps the commentator ambience. Oh boy. Do we have enough time? Maybe. Please. Uh, seconds, I'm sure. I guess we still need to kill the ninjas. Well, let's wait until this thing. Oh. I mean, we're the same ones in the in the Dead Watch Challenge, or nah, whatever. You know, like either you kill them one by one, or you play Dead Watch Challenge and kill them. Whatever. I like Jack is like, eh, whatever. I'm here for the killing. Steve Bloom is, I think he's the guy who voices Jack. Jack's rescued the hookers. Now what? I imagine he'll get his reward. Lucky Jack. So cool. It's a really cool battle. Well, pretty much all of them are. Konishiwa! 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 Watashiwa! Shogun desu! Nah! I'm surprised I managed to put a kind of stereotypical Asian style level in. <gasps> oh, maybe, maybe I did mess up with the resolution. You don't know. Left for that. Here we go again, boy. Damn it! For the people on my lane. <laughs> and I don't think I can <laughs> and I don't think I can kill myself so Ooh. Yo um, Can I call platinum support <laughs> for this? Yeah he did get me yeah good to help me man good to plug you motherfucker Oh we still have the minimal though <laughs> How far can we go back into the middle of the dungeon? We were falling out, breaking the log, we had a control without the flow. Something, something you to let me know. Something, something, breath seven. Go! Once they were falling out, breaking the log, we had a control without the flow. Huh. Well. Shit. Oh, look, the Velvo Challenge is just right on top of here. I mean, of course, most of the game geometries never made them, you know, make sense. I, mean, I cannot. Where am I going? Maybe I can... Um, welcome to Out of Bounds, everybody! I don't think I can get back up on this one. Well, at least you can get to hear the sweet instrumental. Whoa! This is the people that might... Well, it's always a thing. Well, if it's... It, I mean, if the water is... 
interactable then I guess so. I'm waste of time, I don't know. I'm quite a way to kill myself. <laughs> but I think there is there isn't really any environmental hazard for us. I mean the one I was thinking of was the uh the one of the tempura but we can't even jump in this. Go look at what we had a control without the roll. Yeah, nope. And then, what happened to the ninjas on the elevator? Damn it! Yeah, shouldn't get the resolution. Yeah, this game didn't like that. Because I had never, at least, I didn't know play through this game before recording and. Yeah. Guess I'll have to restart the dolphin. Oh wait, but before that, maybe I should, you know, see if I can abandon the level through the title. You know, so we can save. Damn it. Uh, well, we are we. How the hell did that come up with the idea of a happy onion? Well, believe it or not, happy rutabaga, happy puffer fish, and happy picking the nuts with a steel toe boot were all taken. I don't believe it. That's because I just made it up. You got me. <laughs> Ninja Rhythm. Really? Ninja Rhythm. All right. Well, the body seems to be floating on top, so maybe it won't happen again. Maybe. I guess because when I was doing the. Oh. Maybe it wasn't here before. When I was trying to record with Sparky, with we were trying to make it this laggy, so we lowered the resolution. But but uh, it helped. But I kind of like having HD programming for you guys, whoever you are. Let's <laughs> see. Get out of here! Get them out of here! Ah, uh, come on! Is it because they have not fried? Well, I mean, I guess maybe because they are not on, you know, lying down position. That one was. I mean, yeah, kind of the lazy way out, but. But you know, I'm glad this game is very flexible. I mean, of course, you wouldn't use the chainsaw just to kill people because it doesn't grind your points. But if you just want to get things over with, you can just use the chainsaw. <laughs> Come on! Like me and Sparky. Which one is who? Well, that's up to you to guess. <laughs> Man, this guy is not giving a fuck. Uh, hello, game. I need a couple of goons. I think. Maybe. Ah, oh, there they are. Good. I mean, I'm sure Platinum know the thing. They know what they do. But. But I'm prone to screwing things up beyond any possible solution. Alright, oh Jesus. Now there's no fall to the floor now. I knew I should have started jumping last time. <sighs> I'm not sure if you have old, old Japan has have elevators, but what do I know, right? Oh, 
All right. We need to kill those four. This is what we've been waiting for, folks. Put the kids to bed because you don't want them to see this. Did you really want them to see everything up till this point? Oh, sure, why not? Don't want to raise a society full of pussies. Now we're in for a fight. Fucking A, it's time for the big boys to dance. Shall we? Just like the great gladiators of ancient Rome, these two men will enter the arena and clash in hand-to-hand -hand combat for nothing more than the enjoyment of the rich and powerful. Where the fuck did that come from? I read that on a reading card once. Can you beat me, little one? <laughs> <laughs> the big bastard's pretty hairy. Takes me to just watch. Jack makes his baby pursue his house. Bring it up on practice-related food metaphor. Ah, I'm getting hungry. Oh, my God. Damn it. The Rupin was doing a lot of damage. Oh, maybe because he had armor. I don't know why the commentators don't really like the play using the chainsaw. Considering what the enemies have. I did it backwards, but it still worked. I mean, you know what? That was fucking awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a little over dramatic, to be honest. With you. That was quick. Let's do it like in Mario Odyssey. Did you get the idea that the Shogun climbed up to the roof so he could die outside? Yeah, I think he hated that smelly restaurant. Alright. Savage decapitation! Another win for Jack! Oh yeah! I love the motion controls in this game. Alright. Well, that was, that was an awful start, kind of spent 40 minutes in the first level, even though we spent a lot less when we first played this. Whatever. Exquisite. Just exquisite, Jack. You're a born kill seeker, you know that? You have real talent. Mom always said I was special. Do you know how many years this game has gone on? Thousands, Jack. Thousands. Excuse me? Not quite on this scale, of course, but just as vital. A contest between chosen gladiators. A grand fete of carnage. In every society, at all times, there has been war. Even at our most peaceful moments, we have never been truly free of the seeds of strife. As long as there is power, territory, ethnicity, belief, ideals, as long as there are people, there will be conflict. Our age is not different than any other. Come, Jack, how many countries do you know that are truly at peace? You know who this guy is, Jack? He's the one asshole. Get it? One asshole to rule them all. Okay. I didn't realize there was going to be a pop quiz. What's your point? The first Death Watch games took place 2,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent then. No, nothing but rocks and sand. War had been the way of life there for years. Weary of the bloodshed, the leaders from each camp chose champions to fight on their behalf. For the victor went the rule of law. That was the beginning. So they realized the price of power is blood, and they wanted to cut costs. Precisely. Thus began the games. At times the games are fought to decide the fate of a country. Other times it is merely to determine the outcome of a feud. But the goal remains the same. The settlement of conflict for the minimum price in blood. That is why the games exist. So, then what's this all about, huh? What fate does it decide? 
You telling me an entire city and everyone in it is the minimum price for this game? The world is controlled not by the masses, but by the hands of a few. It is an undeniable fact, and it has always been so. That all men are created equal is a myth. The people are nothing but weeds. They're overlords, gardeners. Only when the weeds are cut, may flowers bloom. From all the fertilizer you're spreading, I'm guessing you're a gardener. You're a talented man. It's good to know some things don't change. Welcome back, Jack. It's good to be home. That was a big earpiece. <laughs> but they can 13 know something that you don't. Alright. Um, boss battle. Also, more wrestlers vie to the beast. Best. The Yokozuna. But to win, you must fight. One man has taken up the call to be champion. He torn tigers in two and broken bears' backs. Now he awaits for you. Also known as Akuma, Yokozuna. <laughs> what a simple resume. resume. Here comes Jack as he walks in amongst all those beautiful flowers. Nothing says I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance to a bunch of flowers. They're my gum. Take your best shot, boy. Unfortunately, there's only like three songs for the losses. I'm glad we have proper setup for <laughs> for dumb battles. Shogun is a trademark of the Tokyo Gym. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Some guy made me to say it. Round one. Quick, grab a gun. Hmm. It takes you so much time to actually lock on with people. I was a fighting with the chainsaw on purpose. You gotta be pushed okay. against this guy. We are a jack strong. Does anybody in this fucking town ever draw an enemy? I'm glad he survived that. <laughs> Alright. By the way, the side attacks. It is just in the shade, so even though it makes the paint so sound. Whoa! And they go jacked with the chainsaw again. Final round. Again, it takes a while to actually target people. Damn it again. Uh, 
Perfect. You gotta be pushing to win against this guy. All right, to the very with you. Great. <laughs> Everything to put up a show. How do these people got the ranking? Were they fighting and then, you know, got it or they had it predetermined from other games? <coughs> uh, Dead Watch games. Well, Yokozuna would have been a nice character in Anarchy Reigns too. A lot of the characters here, actually. It's a fucking gun. <laughs> Finally, I got some hardware. Hey, I just saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant, but if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo, Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER, or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... <sighs> They sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? <coughs> yeah, Leo. <sighs> it all happened so fast. The island was cut off before we knew what was going on. So, I'm going to be a long cutscene, so enjoy. So stylish, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Aragon City, lend me your ears. We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day. Redefine justice in your own terms. Let the games begin. Man, what a booty. To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might makes right. It is the only law and your only chance if you wish to live through this. To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of $100 million. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Ah, yes, one more thing. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone, and you will be given a vaccine. I'm glad they keep me track of everyone. Oh, and I suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah, a case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Game. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Do you need a PhD for that? 
<laughs> so who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! <sighs> she sounds so familiar. I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> your lucky day, isn't it? I've got an ID on your friend. Born in 1993 in Ausrain Harmonia. Went to public high school, majored in medicine at Berrigan State, top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. One year younger than me. So, <laughs> guess we trust the doc. If you're not a contestant, who are you? Are you with some kind of rescue squad? There's going to be a rescue, right? Uh, why haven't they sent anyone yet? Because <laughs> <yet? laughs> everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The island's cut off completely. Spy satellites are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Eh. Targets more like it. If I were you, I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. Kill them. So there was in I mean, maybe I'm mis misinterpreting things here, but does the vaccine make you say invulnerable to the disease that you won't get sick of it anymore, or you need to constantly take it if you are exposed to the virus constantly? Uh, maybe it's actually an actual vaccine. Idiot! <laughs> Thank you.